Welcome to the channel friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home T6 Smart Wi-Fi Z-Wave Network Capable Thermostat. Wow, that's a mouthful. But we're going to be covering just the full programming as well as the advanced menu and showing you what the other options are in the hidden menu. So I have other videos covering manual override and factory reset. Go ahead and check those out as well as covering the ISU options and what they are. And I go through the list. There's a lot on this thermostat being a T6 thermostat. Uh, the T5 is similar. It looks just like this it has a touch screen and everything, but it doesn't have as many features as this T6 does. This has a lot of features as well as auto changeover, which is nice to have. So let's go ahead and show you how to program this thing and use it how it's intended to be used. It is a programmable thermostat uh, to begin with. So we want to go ahead and go back to the main screen. And I want to show you right here what's going on. And we have four periods of the day. So we have wake, away, home, and sleep. That's how you're going to program this unit. So right now it's following a schedule. It's in heat. And you can select different modes. And you have auto changeover right there, heat, and cool. So we're going to go ahead and now click menu to actually go th through the programming menu. And we're going to hit schedule here and click on select. So now this is going to want you to program it in blocks. So the away block, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, home, sleep, return, etc. Okay, so this is how it wants it. Then it says S through S, which is Saturday through Sunday. So depending on how you have this thing configured, you could have it configured from Monday through Sunday or Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday individually. That all depends on the ISU setting you have. But I will go over just how this is right now. I'm not going to get into details um, until you watch the other video. So when we go ahead in Monday through Friday wake period, we're going to hit select. So now it's going to want you to adjust the time and the heating and cooling set point for this block, the wake period, okay? So that's going to apply for Monday through Friday as it shows on the device. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that. We're going to heat to 72, click it again, and we're going to go cool to 72, okay? Or whatever you want. We can put 70 and then adjust your time. You're going to want to adjust the time where you want it to, to wake for that period to start. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and click select and it will save it. Now it's going to go on to the next time period, same thing. So hit select. And for your away time period, go ahead and adjust the time where you want the away period to start. It's flexible. You can put whatever time. And then the same thing, select your heating and cooling set point uh, individually. This is really nice that it has it all in one spot because that way you don't have to go back and forth. Okay. And we can adjust this however which way we like. So same thing, hit select to continue and it's going to save. Now that's how you fully program the unit. Now you will have to go through each one of these blocks. So one through four as well as the blocks for each Saturday and Sunday section. So the same thing applies. You're going to have to program these as well. They're all individual blocks. And then once you scroll past the last one, it's going to say done. And then it's going to save. So this is very important to program your thermostat and to have it operate the way it's intended. Fully program it. That way you can kind of set it and forget it. Now, that shows you how to fully program it. It's a very simple device once you understand how to do it. And now from here, you can either manually override or you can have it just run the actual program like it is now. It will say following schedule. So if you want to manually override it, please check out my other video. I'm not going to cover this. There's two different ways to, um, to manually override this thermostat. So now we're going to go and move on to the advanced menu. So we have the quick menu, which is you just click menu and you have schedule, screen lock. I do cover uh, this in a video, so check that out. 
Z-Wave setup. I may cover this in a future video. Uh, most people aren't going to set this up, though, I'm pretty sure. And recovery, clock, date, clean screen, which is nice to do. You will lock the screen so you can clean it. Temp scale and reset. Equipment status, device info. And let's go to device info, see what it shows us. It shows us the model number. Okay, that's good to know. So that's the quick menu. It shows you kind of the basic things you need to know to, and to adjust on the unit, like you know date and time and things like that, and, and Fahrenheit or Celsius. But say you want to go into the, the deeper menu. So you will have to go and hold the menu button instead of just clicking it once. So if you hold it, you will bring up a device setup. Now this is essentially what shows up when you first install the batteries and you have the thing brand new, straight out of the box. You're going to want to do a device setup. So this allows you to do a lot more things. If you know, if you look through here, you can see that it has more options. Okay, so let's go into device setup, which will bring us the ISU. But this is the ISU. I'm not going to go over what these mean. I'm just going to scroll through them really quick to show you what they that they are here, and they're very important to set up, especially if this thing's brand new in your house, or if you have an issues and you don't think the heating and cooling type is set up correctly. So you will have to go through each one of these. The T6 has a whole bunch of these, a lot more than any of the, the other previous models like the, T, the T4, T5, T2, T, T3. The T6 really takes us to the next level and has a whole bunch of these, a lot more so than the others. So I will go ahead and cover this in a separate video, but I'm just gonna scroll through these right now. There is a whole bunch of different settings here. I mean, so as you can see, now it's gonna ask us finish setup and then it's gonna save. So really important, that's how you access the advanced menu. Also check out my next video when it comes to ISU options for the T6, which is that there, what you just saw, and that will cover all those you know, intricacies that you might need to know to configure to your device. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other videos going over the other aspects of the T6 Honeywell Home Thermostat. But if you have any other questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.